But you thought I couldn't get more lights in here, didn't you? Merry Christmas uh, slash holiday season to you. Welcome to episode 35, the Christmas special I managed to just jam in there. I literally just had to quickly make this as quick as possible. I've always wanted a Christmas episode, always wanted a Halloween episode, and I did that. And that, that was, you know, let's not talk about that one. So this month, I asked my patrons to, you know, make some holiday themed builds. Nothing really specific, something that can go on a Christmas tree maybe. Just, you know, take some decorations, make them better. Like that, that like that Halloween one really. I'm not very original. So to begin with, we have this beadbot Santa on his sleigh. That is pretty awesome. Thank you very much, son of Targ. I love this thing. And we have a post-apocalyptic gingerbread house. I think this is genius. Uh, I don't know what happened to that sour patch thing there, but uh, thank you very much, Owen. We have some charming beadbot snowmen dancing here by Tuftal Tim or Tuftal Tim or Tinker Tim. I'm not sure how you say it. And we have this amazing bauble conversion by Shane Bevin. Uh, I'm going to call him Shane Bevin from now on because he always puts me to shame. I took part in the challenge as well because I'm not a hypocrite. Granted, I, I built them in like a day, uh, but then again, I am a pro and my patrons, you know, mixed bunch. Look at the lights. Anyway. So the challenge is to take some Christmas decorations and make them better. Yeah, not the most original challenge, but uh, you know, I am busy making videos. So I got these, uh, I can't remember where I got these from, maybe Poundland, I'm not sure. But they're not actually baubles, they're called placeholders. I guess you stick them on your table uh, with a little name on there, but they look, look, we just call them baubles, uh, or billballs, or bills balls. You can call them whatever you like. Luckily, they were plastic, so they wouldn't shatter into a million pieces. And my son just burst in the room, he wants to say something. Merry Christmas! Thank you very much, son, you may leave. So this is the recent addition to my episode format. You sit there and watch me doodle in a book. But in all seriousness, it's, it's always handy to kind of have a few doodles if you're gonna make something. So my idea is I wanna make some beadbot baubles because, you know, I'm only famous for two things, uh, beadbots and rust. And, you know, let's face it, I'm probably gonna paint these rusty as well. And of course, I'm probably going to have to make them Christmas themed somehow. So uh, yeah, I'll figure that bit out later. So I get a lot of comments asking me, what is that brush pen I'm using? And it's literally that, it's a brush pen. You fill it up with water and uh, you use it by dipping it into watercolors or paints. It's a, a watercolor brush pen. You can find them online, just Google it. So I'm gonna interrupt the video because it's time for a sponsorship video clip bit. Uh, yes, I've been sponsored again uh, by NordVPN because I must look, I think I look Nordic. It's probably the jumper. So NordVPN is a virtual private network. Now a virtual private network is exactly that, a virtual private network. A network that you can use to watch films in other countries, for example. You could watch the American Netflix from the comfort of your own home. Or if you're American, you can watch the British Netflix from the comfort of your own home. I, I have no idea why you would. Uh, I mean, wildlife documentaries, that's all we have. Also, if you're sick of your torrent site just shutting down for no reason, well, we know the reason, but you don't want it to happen anymore, then get a VPN and your torrent site will be up and running. You can download to your heart's content. But it's not just about what you can watch. It's about protecting your computer and your smart devices. And they protect your phone, your computer, your iPad effectively from hackers and, you know, those little 
invisible people in the back of a calf that sits there and steals your material. I've seen them. I, they think I can't see them, I can see them. NordVPN have a holiday season sale at the moment. A big discount, so click on that link below and say Bill sent you. Uh, unless you're going to kind of pirate illegal things, then don't say Bill, say the bead sent you. Uh, I need to work on that code name. Thank you very much, NordVPN, for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to it right now, right now. Right, right now. Come on. You've got to turn us. Okay, we both turn. We turn at the same time. So, I'm not sure how many of these baubles I'm going to convert. I'm going to try and convert as many as I can in, I don't know, say 24 hours. This is like a 24 hour build, like tested, only, uh, you know, more fun and less professional, let's face it. So for these beadbot baubles, we're just going to use the old beadbot technique of threading armature wire through holes and threading beads on Z armature wire. So I understand it's it's uh, quite unlikely you're going to get hold of any of these plastic uh, Q-tips or cotton buds, uh, but I still have some in stock, so I'm going to use them up. Uh, not to rub it in, but uh, yeah, I've got quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes to beads I like using wooden beads because you can cut them up you can sand them down you can kind of shape them into whatever kind of bead you want so you may be seeing this mysterious spray come off the edge of the screen there uh, and you're going to see it throughout this build it's some super glue activator I've never used it before but I thought I'd try it with this build because someone bought it for me off my Amazon wish list thank you very much now I put off using it for quite a while uh, but I've got to be honest, it's like the best thing in the world ever. It basically does what the baking powder did and I love it. So seeing as this is a 24 hour build, I don't have much time. I'm going to be using these uh, paper fasteners as claws because as we all know, claws are easy, hands are hard. Um, I said that a long time ago and it's true. And for details, we're going to be using this EVA foam uh, because it actually looks really convincing as metal once it's painted. Uh, I really recommend it. Also, it takes texture, like a bit. So I want to make some accessories for my bead bot baubles. That's a mouthful. Hence, one of the other reasons why I use those paper fasteners for claws, because I can use those to bend around something and hold something. Yeah, like I was being lazy, okay? So when connecting the bead bot butt to the bead bot bubble body, that is a mouthful. Uh, I like to make a little recessed area for the wire to go in. To make sure there were no gaps between the butt and the body, I stuck this square of EVA foam uh, on the body. And to be honest, EVA foam is like a miracle material for scratch building. I've got to be honest. It's, uh, you know, there's no gaps there. Look at that. It conforms to any shape you want. It's, uh, yeah, I love it. So being a 24 hour build, I hesitate to put too much detail on here. You may have seen some of my previous builds. I do go a bit crazy with rivets and details and things like that. But I have to kind of, this is, this is me trying to restrain myself. And that's, uh, yeah, I'll say that one's done. That's two down. Let's see how many more I can get done. So I wanted to make some presents, uh, you need some presents if you're making Christmas themed beadbot baubles. And I got these little wooden pieces, I think they're from a little wooden puzzle. They're basically little wooden cubes. Uh, they make perfect little presents. So, this is time of the year to be thankful for everything you have. 
like um, this little pot, little LED candle that you set out a shot. You can't. Thankful for that. Uh, this weird gnome thing that my wife had that I just quickly chucked. Uh, yeah, the point is, it's time. It's a time to be thankful. Point is, I want to thank people. All right, all right. Let me thank. Let me thank you. All right. Just give me a minute. You know, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I want to thank you. Um, I want to thank my wife for sticking around, letting me do this. I want to thank my son for, I don't know, walking in here, relieving himself, and then walking back out again. I want to thank my daughter for not sitting in here, unlike every other room in the house. And I want to thank all my patrons for supporting me throughout the year. And I want to thank all of the viewers, uh, which is, you know, that's you. Apart from that one. You know what I mean. That one. And I want to thank all the other YouTubers I've made friends with over the year. Uh, there's been quite a few. I've done a few collaborations. Uh, for some, You know, I always quite liked crossover episodes, so I guess I kind of went a bit overboard. You know, without you lot, I probably wouldn't be at 36,000 subscribers after a year. So, you know, I really appreciate it. And that was it. I guess I want to thank... Santa Claus for inventing Christmas. Person who made this child, this is getting ridiculous. Let's just get on with it, shall we? So, on to the third one. I'm thinking more arms, less legs. So, you know, it's Christmas time. It's, it's time for fulfilling wishes, you know, and all goodwill to men, women, and everyone in between. Uh, and it's not too late to make that little special person in your life happy. You can click on that link down below join Patreon and make that little boy happy again. Yes, the little boy is me. So this bead bot ball ball is in a weird position, you may have noticed. Uh, that will make sense later. I wonder how many times we're going to say bead bot ball ball in this video. So this is one of the reasons why I like EVA foam. You can super glue one side like that, stick another piece on top like that, bend it, and it will harden in place and you get a nice little curve, look. Dry brush a little bit of uh, gunmetal gray there. And there you go, the easiest rust paint job I've ever done. So on to bead bot ball ball number four. I have to admit, I was kind of running out of ideas at this point. And I was just going to just improvise like the doodle butts. Just, I don't know, let's see how it goes. So to make this bead bot ball ball slightly different, I took this old plastic egg and made a head. So obviously having a head must mean this thing has a neck and you know, if you have a neck, then you probably should have a, you know, we just make it. Good old acrylic paint pen for the painter who doesn't like to paint. So I painted all the bead bot baubles with a burnt sienna rusty undercoat. And then I dabbed colour over the top, uh, making sure to leave edges exposed, you know, leaving some of the rusty undercoat exposed. And I tried to go for Christmassy colours, you know, what's Christmassy? Gold, silver, red, green, I don't know, you know, Christmassy colours, those ones. So 
So to finish it off, and to make them all look a bit crusty and rusty, I want to make some brown oil wash. Now, I made some oil wash previously and I stored it in this jar, if you're ever wondering how to store it. Uh, it seems to have held and it worked fine. So there we go, that was one of the quickest builds I've ever done. Uh, I could have added so much more detail in there, but uh, you know, what's more important? More rivets or an episode before Christmas? Rivets, I know, but like, I didn't think that at the time. So I guess all that's left to do is to stick these on the tree. They do quite strongly smell of white spirit at the moment, but you know, my wife won't mind. Well, she will, she won't mind. Christmas is a time to forgive. And let's, let's not forget what's the most important thing at Christmas, okay? What's the most important thing about Christmas? For, you know, forget the presents, forget the Christmas dinners. It's the money.